Okay guys, I'm in Kyoto and I purchased this Ikoka card, which is like the IC card here. And we're gonna see how the public metro, uh, public transportation works here in Kyoto. And we're gonna go check out some places here. I think this uh, Kyoto video will start tonight and end tomorrow. But uh, yeah, let's try and figure this out here. I'm looking for the Kazuma line, I think is what it's called. I'm looking to take the uh, subway. So, I believe this is it here. Okay, easy enough. And I think Karasuma is what we're looking for here. So this card cost me 2,000 yen. And I have not tried this brand yet, so I think I will get this brand. Oh, I guess it's Coca-Cola. Huh, interesting. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. But look at this, I have this handful of coins here. Actually, can I use my Coca card? I think I probably can, can I? Ah, yeah, it looks like I can. Uh, right now, I'm gonna just use my coins because I have too many. Ah, oh, I needed that. This area is pretty cool. There are a bunch of book offs which have like used electronics, used books, things like that. There's also like, I think some bars and stuff here. Hey guys, let's also see if we can uh, charge the, uh, use the uh, card here at 7-Eleven. Now I like this bottle of water, so I'm gonna get the same brand. But yeah, I'm curious to see if we can use this card here at 7-Eleven. I, I think I did read that you can. Okay, that was like Apple Pay. It was so easy. Okay, very cool. So, the plan is to use this for the remaining, I don't know what I have, like, like 10 or 12 days, 10 or 11 days here left in uh, Japan. I'm gonna use this during my time here in Japan. And then after, it'll be a fun souvenir for me to have. So, yes. You should get a uh, IC card. It makes life easier, even if you're just uh, coming here for a week or two. So yeah, this is more like, uh, it seems like downtown Kyoto. You can see there's an Arcturex there, which is a really nice brand for like jackets and winter clothing. I do imagine it gets quite cold here in Japan. Uh, it's currently end of August, uh, August uh, 25th, I believe, today. Yeah, August 25th. So really quite warm here still, which I prefer. But yes, anyway, today I am in the kind of downtown area here of Kyoto. And I think tomorrow I will check out some temples and kind of do that stuff. You know, I've been thinking about this, but I love about the vending machines here in Japan is not just the convenience, but you only pay a couple cents more for the same bottle of water. So this was 115 or 100, 105 yen, but you can also just get this for 120 or 130 yen from a vending machine, which is only a couple cents more for convenience of not having to wait in line. So yeah, vending machines, amazing in uh, Japan. And you can see it's quite busy here in uh, Kyoto. It's not really sure what to expect. I don't have much planned for Kyoto other than I do want to go to some temples tomorrow. I will be heading to Osaka tomorrow, but not until later. So I plan to keep my luggage at the hotel and then spend the day exploring uh, Kyoto tonight and tomorrow. But yeah, I was not really expecting a downtown area here. I had no idea what to think of Kyoto, but um, one of the best matches I ever had was a 
Kyoto Masha in Bangkok. So it, the name of it was Kyoto. So I'm assuming the matcha here in Kyoto proper is incredible. So I do want to find a matcha at some point. So I did read that jaywalking is illegal in Japan, which is what this dude's doing right here. So you're technically not allowed to do that. It is technically illegal. You can be fined. You might even be able to be jailed. I don't know. Look guys, here's a Patagonia store. Oh my God. So I, I mean, I know we're in a more like um, uh, outdoorsy area here of Japan, but uh, you tell me, I may have to research this. Is this more of a uh, like wealthier area here in Japan? Because I'm seeing like, oh, there's a Rolex guys. There's a Rolex store. I mean, I'm just seeing really high end stuff here. I have to research this, but you could also tell me in the comment section. Please do let me know. Subscribe, by the way. Really mean a lot to me. Most of you are not subscribed, and it helps me out a lot. It's completely free. It also allows me to continue making these videos, so thank you. Okay, well this was not in the plans, but I've been walking down this stretch here, and I look to my left, and we've got this thing going on here. So. Not exactly sure what this is, other than it seems like a shopping center. It's like a mall, but like not a mall. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a strip of indoor, outdoor. I guess it's indoor. I don't know. It's like the roof is um, sort of like the roof of a indoor. Uh, the roof seems retractable to me or something. But I don't know what's going on here other than this seems like a strip of shopping. Very cool. Look, a casino. Okay, here's the thing. Guys, tell me, what's going on with the casinos? Because I've read that gambling is illegal, but I see casinos all over Japan. So I don't know. And there's pachinko and slots. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Explain this to me. Oh, look, arcade too. Oh man, I've just been letting out my inner child here in uh, Japan. It's been uh, so much fun. Yeah, a little bit too complicated for me right now to figure this out. But, you know, it just blows my mind. Like over here in Asia, the arcade culture is still very much alive versus in America, it's dead. It's like literally dead, arcades don't exist. It's pretty cool. So this pachinko right here is four ye uh, five yen per slot. Ooh, I kind of want to. That's like the second pachinko place I walked into. I didn't film because they had a strict no filming policy. I did film one in one of my other videos, which I don't think I should have done, but hopefully it'll be okay. But it's a fascinating culture. It's gambling but it's not gambling so and it's very interesting because you see people of all like ages backgrounds in there playing pachinko it's so cool so yeah I'm still walking down this stretch here of shops and I'm not sure what I'll find or what I'm even looking to find here other than yeah, I didn't want to spend the night in my uh, tiny hotel room. So, my god, it just goes on forever. Look at this. Jeez. If you ever come to Japan and you get a chance to try one of these 10 yen coins, I recommend it. I had it in uh, Tokyo. It's basically a pancake with like very big, like uh, very uh, cheesy mozzarella cheese in the middle. It's really good. Anyway, yeah, so you can walk down that strip there and there's like a bunch of, where the Burger King is, there's like a bunch of uh, shops and then there's also a shop par uh, strip parallel to it, which I'm gonna walk down now. Oh, uh, there's a fish spa. You can get your feet, put your feet in there and uh, have the, the fish eat away the dead particles on your feet. But that is not for me. Okay, well, wow, look at this. So, very close to where I just was, there's this very popular shopping street. Look at this, food hall. 
dress for students or something. I know there's a university here, right next to a Gucci. And maybe that's where I was walking before. But this is a notable uh, area on the Google Maps. So yeah, there's even a Disney store over here. All right, folks, well, I've been walking for a bit and this is where the uh, Camo River is. This is apparently a very popular spot and I can see why. So yeah, let's take a look here now. Parallel to this on the other side of these buildings over here is uh, gosh I don't know what the name is I can't pronounce the name but it's like a restaurant alley and it's very cool I got some footage of that but I might go back here so I don't know if you sit on I don't know if it's best to go on this side or this side but you can see lots of people here maybe that's the spot I don't know you can see lots of people here sitting relaxing enjoying the night I think it is a Friday isn't it yeah I think it is yeah it's a Friday but I suppose this is the same thing. You can see sort of like uh, these restaurants look like houses. Uh, I don't know if you can see, it's quite dark, but it seems like we got live music over here. This is, this is unbelievably cool, guys. So sadly, the film of the river right now, it's a bit too dark. I don't think you're gonna be able to see how beautiful it is, but there's like, dim lighting you get to see the river get to hear live music it's a very cool vibe okay i will probably continue this video in the morning oh this is just so cool you got to come to kyoto i'm glad i'm here all right guys good morning so it is the next day here in kyoto and i really want to try a matcha in kyoto i've heard it's amazing and i found this place called kurasu it looks to be very popular so let's go ahead and go in here all right guys, so here it is. Here's the matcha latte. Looks really cool. Looks very good. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So I think I told you the best matcha latte I ever had was called Kyoto from, and it was when I was in Bangkok. And so I had to come here in Kyoto and try this. It tastes very similar. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, definitely come. I can definitely recommend this coffee shop. Very nice in there. So yeah, called uh, Kurasu. All right guys, well, I am sim I'm basically in the same spot as last night, but this time in the afternoon, all the way up till 5 p.m., there's a something called a Nishiki or Nishiti market where you can get food and you can even buy produce from what I understand. So this is something that like I really want to do and I'm starting to get hungry, so, yes. This is where Google is telling me it is, and I see a bunch of people here. So, we got some um, skewers here, yakitori, rice cakes. Oh, yeah. I think this is like basically, oh, and last night I couldn't see the color uh, through the roof. I think I'm in the same spot, or like right around, the same spot. Oh, shrimp. Oh, Kobe beef. Oh, Kobe beef. Wow. I am tempted to try the Kobe beef. That's hitting at about $20, I think. Maybe I'll try it. Okay, you know what? I've never had Kobe beef. We're in the land of Kobe beef. I'm gonna go for it. It's 25,000 or 2,500 yen, which I think is like $17. We're gonna go for it. I think it is. Yeah, Kobe beef, 2,500. Uh, Kobe beef? Okay. Okay. Anything else? Uh, just one? Just one, okay. okay. 2,500 yen. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, US, America. Oh, America. Oh, yes. Nice place. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, Japan is nice too. Oh, really? Uh, Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Alright, guys, I'm excited. Hello. Hello. Shrimps. It's like uh, Tokyo. Tokyo? Okay. okay. Good. Good, yeah. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. 
You can get eel tempura. Sea eel, yeah. Oh, cool. I don't. I've never had it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here it is. Oh, look at this. Looks very good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the juice is dripping all over the place. Oh, it's so good. It's like nice and tender, perfectly cooked. You can see the red in it. Oh. It seriously just like melts in your mouth as soon as you bite into it. Oh my god. Oh. I'm a huge fan of steak. This is incredible. There's also some wasabi here. Mm. Better without the wasabi, but oh my gosh, this is so good. This is definitely worth it. <clears throat> okay guys, so I can say that is simultaneously the most expensive and the best skewer I've ever had. I've never had uh, Kobe beef and <clears throat> that was just, it was incredible. It's like you, it's like the meat just melts as soon as you put it in your mouth. Oh my gosh, it was perfectly cooked. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, there are so many options here. <clears throat> I think we should keep walking and see what's out there. Oh, you can get like mini beers. <laughs> Seafood. Or you can try sake. I'm not looking to try sake at like 11 a.m. But yeah, I've noticed these like rolled egg, rolled omelet sandwiches. They look very good. I don't know what these are. Goiza. Goiza. Hello. Okay, well this seems to be a very popular spot. So, oh my goodness. Squid skewers, bamboo shoot, seafood. Seems like people are enjoying their seafood here. Squid. Okay, yeah, that's about the price. It's the going rate for a Kobe beef. 2500 which is $17. It's good though. I would recommend you try it. Uh, goyoza? Uh, goyza? Sorry. Goyza. Uh, is it like uh, chicken? Uh, what? Pork. Oh, okay. Uh, how much for... For five piece, five hundred. Okay, I will do. Okay. <laughs> Can I eat here? Can I eat here? Okay. All right, guys. Goyoza. I've had this in the states, but never in Japan. So gotta try it here. It's a uh, pork, pork goyoza. Let's see, Le Guide, Le Guide Michelin, supervised by Michelin restaurants. So it's probably very good. If you don't know, goiza is like a dumpling. You probably have heard of it before. It's very popular in the States. What I like about this is it's grilled. Well, the bottom of it's grilled. Mm. It's like a really nice char on it. You can see there's pork filling. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I read online in the morning like the local chefs here uh, in the Kyoto area, they'll come and get their produce, get their seafood, clams, whatever it is that they're cooking. So this is like a very legendary space. What are these? Whoa. Oh, it's like a... Oh man, what are these? Hello. Oh, it's a starch dumpling, okay. Very cool. Jumbo yakitori. Oh my. 
I had so much yakitori last night that I gotta try some other things here. I think yakitori so far is my favorite cuisine in Japan. Yuzu honey drink, now that sounds really good. Well, yuzu is a thing you have to get in Japan. This is yuzu honey drink. Mm. Oh. oh man, that is so good. It's like obviously sweet, but it's not like chemical sweet, overpowering sweet. You know what I mean? It's not like eating candy, it's refreshing. Look at this. It's called roll chicken, chicken thighs. It's huge skewers. Oh my gosh. Oh, does that look good? Ichigo Daihuku Moki. Oh, mochi. Oh man. Okay, for the second time in this video, I'm doing a double take. I'm gonna go get some of that mochi, because I love mochi, and it looks incredible. I also need to get rid of my coins. Oh. Oh, konnichiwa, uh, strawberry mo mochi? Yes, yes. Three hundred. Okay. All right, guys. So here it is. Look at that. And there's like a filling in there. There's an actual strawberry, and then also a filling. Okay. I have to really delicately eat this because. Mm. Okay. Whatever you think strawberry tastes like, take that and then multiply it by 10. Oh. That was a really legendary experience here at Nishiki Market. So this is where I was last night. And I think when I was walking, I just, this was either closed or I missed it or something. But uh, yeah. Now I need a long walk after all that food. So I ended up getting Kobe beef, goyoza, mochi, and a yuzu drink. And that was, everything was amazing. Prices are a bit elevated, but that's to be expected because it's very high quality food. Uh, it's touristy, you know, it's a local attraction and yeah, but worth it. I've been walking for a bit. I'm not sure where this road leads, but everybody seems to be walking this way. So. Yeah, we're gonna go this way, see what's down here. Well, I appear to have walked in the right direction because there's this Hana Komoji Street. Just take a look at this. I mean, it is boiling hot out here, guys. I probably should get an umbrella like everybody else. And I do think that vehicles do drive down the street, but it seems very interesting. It's gotta be, real feel's gotta be 100 degrees. Fahrenheit. So I saw back there, you can do, you can bet on horse racing. Now, that is one of the uh, legal forms of gambling here in Japan is horse racing. There's another one as well, I can't remember, but yeah, interesting. Let's see what's down in here. Because this also seems very cool. I believe there's like a, this is like Gion Corner, where I think you can watch like live musical performances, like traditional, like classical dances and like uh, classical musical performances. Ah, yeah. uh, sorry guys, so this is actually Kenan G or Kenan G Temple. Uh, Gion Corner is nearby here, but yeah. So this is like a Buddhist temple where you can also buy tea from what it seems. Fortunately, I cannot take uh, photos or use my camera in there, so I'm gonna go check this out. If you ever get a chance to do that, definitely do it. It's the uh, Kenan G uh, Temple, Zen Buddhist Temple, and this information packet they give you is really helpful, but it's also just so beautiful and peaceful. I wanted to respect the uh, no filming, so I did not film, but I wish I could have taken you guys with me on that. Because it was very beautiful. Oh uh, yeah. You walk through the temple into there. 
It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Wow, how many of you could do that? A running carriage, a human powered carriage. Wow. That's pretty incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay guys, assuming I can film here, this is the Yasuka Jinja Shrine. So, another thing I wanted to do here in Kyoto, I'm sure it will be beautiful. Uh, looks like you have to bow. Kid. Bow before going in. And wow. Okay, this is like a whole thing, guys. You can get skewers here, crap. And other food. Ooh, old coins. Ancient coins. Look at this. A fan or something? Fan, a light. Oh, so interesting. Oh, well, I'm glad I came here. You can also get like sweets here. Like uh, ices. Oh man, you can see the trees in the background. I don't know if those are mountains or mountain tree for I don't know. It's like uh, amulets that you can purchase for a thousand yen. About seven dollars. Oh, travel safety. Okay, I hear something going on over here. You can ring the bell. Okay, so that person just rang the bell and then bowed. I don't know what the, okay. I don't know the significance of this thing. that in Japan as well. You clap two, you bow, you clap two times and then you bow. This seems to be a uh, place where you observe silence, but there's a nice walking trail here, so I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, it's very peaceful. Okay, well, I feel like we have to go for matcha ice cream, right? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, man. I've been seeing this matcha ice cream all over Japan. It seems like the time. It's like really thick, really thick ice cream. I got the rich matcha, which is 600 yen, and that would be exactly $4. Oh. Has the actual matcha powder on it. And of course the ice cream is very matcha -y. So I'm gonna eat this. Okay guys, well I think that just about wraps up my video here on Kyoto. Thank you so much for being here. Really enjoyed my time here in Kyoto. It was not long enough. Next time, I will spend more time here when I come back to Japan. So thank you for being here. Make sure you hit subscribe, and I'll most certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.